all right so what do we have here let g1 is equal to v even and g2 is equal to v e2 be connected graphs on the same vertex set v with more than two vertices so there is a graph g1 the vertex set is v and the edge set is even there's another graph g2 uh, with the same vertex x vertex set v and the edge set is e2 it is different uh, different from even the previous graph okay and then what it is saying that g1 intersection g2 okay so the intersection you're taking the intersection of these two graphs okay is v comma even intersection e2 which is quite obvious okay so this is the intersection because you have the same vertex set and you have different edges so if you take the intersection of two graphs these two graphs you have to basically talk about the intersection of edges and it is given that it is not a connected graph if you take the intersection of these two graphs you don't get a connected graph and then what you have to do is you have to tell about this thing you have to you are given four options about g1 union g2 which is v comma even union e2 you have to take the union of edges to get the union of the graphs and you have to select the correct option out of these four options so what are these four options cannot have a cut vertex must have a cycle must have a cut edge has chromatic numbers strictly greater than those of g1 and g2 so let's let's first try to see an example of what this question is saying because it might appear quite abstract if you don't have a concrete example so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first draw g1 then i'm going to draw g2 okay so it's on four vertices right correct so what i'm going to do is i am going to first select first uh, like draw these four vertices uh, sorry it's not on uh, it's uh, it's on common vertices uh, v is common uh, v is like out here and v is out here so these two graphs are on the same vertex set v that's that's what is given to us the same vertex set v so let's come on I'm, I'm just giving trying to draw this example to explain the abstraction that is in the question so suppose this is the vertex set all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to first draw g1 so suppose this is just an example this is just one of the several possible examples that you can come up so suppose this is g1 in green all right and then i am going to draw g2 so what is the constraint or what is the condition that this should have common vertex set and if you take the intersection of these two graphs g1 and g2 the which is basically you take the intersection of the edges on the same vertex set you get a graph that is not connected so what about this look at this thing so what about if i have something like this if my g2 in is in red so what about g1 intersection g2 in this case is it disconnected or not so you get you get you're getting this thing these are the same vertex set with different graphs g1 is in green and g2 is in red so if i take the intersection of g1 and g2 what do i get so suppose i take the intersection of g1 and g2 so basically i have to have the same vertex set but the edges should be the edges that are common because i have to take the intersection of the edges so that means this one and this one because these are the only edges that are common so i'll get something like this so this is g1 intersection g2 and it satisfies the condition that it is not a connected graph so this is one example we came up with and uh, a lot of times you can eliminate options with these examples okay 
so look at this option must have a cut edge what is a cut edge and um, uh, okay one more thing before before we jump to these options we have to answer about g1 union g2 so let's draw g1 union g2 as well so what will be g1 union g2 you take the union of edges which means you will have all these four edges basically you will have a cycle of four so if you will try to draw g1 union g2 this is what you will get and then you have to answer these questions about g1 union g2 so must have a cut edge so g uh, the f option c is g1 union g2 must have a cut edge what is a cut edge in a cut edge if you remove a single edge from the graph okay then the graph must get disconnected so in g1 union g2 can you find an edge whose removal will give you a disconnected graph no all right you remove any of the edges the graph will still be connected that means you can eliminate option c what about the option d g it must it has chromatic numbers strictly greater than those of g1 and g2 so what are g1 and g2 g1 and g2 are basically trees and the, the chromatic number the minimum number of colors you need to you need to give colors to the vertices of g1 and g2 is 2 because they are both trees in this special case okay is g1 union g2 strict the is the chromatic number of g1 union g2 strictly greater than those of g1 and g2 for g1 the chromatic number is 2 okay you can clearly see it it's in green and this g1 is in green and it's a tree okay it's a spanning tree of this whole g1 union g2 actually this green thing and for a tree you know that if there are more than one vertices in a tree then you need two colors okay the same is the case with g2 so the chromatic number of g1 is 2 the chromatic number of g2 is 2 and what about this this is a cycle of this is a cycle of even number of edges and the chromatic number for this is also 2 so you know that option d is not true because you came up with a counter example and that's enough to eliminate this option so we have eliminated these two options must have a cycle and we have a cycle but since this is not a counter example so we will have to investigate this thing further we need to so what we can say that we need to investigate this one further cannot have a cut vertex okay so are we getting a cut vertex out here and no we are not getting a cut vertex out here so we have to investigate this also further all right these two things we have eliminated these two and we are left with these two and one of them must be correct okay and so what i'm going to do right now is i'll come up with another example that will eliminate one of these options okay so what i'm i'll try to do is i'll i'll try to get a graph in which i can get a cut vertex which will basically eliminate this thing so again i'm going to start with my uh, vertices uh, because the vertex set is common so I'm going to have this vertex and this vertex and this time I'm going to draw it slightly different all right so this is what I'm going to do this time and suppose this is my graph g1 all right so suppose this is g1 in green I have g1 and what I'm going to do now is in red I'm going to have G2 so G1 and G2 what about intersection so if you see the intersection you will have this edge and this edge okay so which will make the graph disconnected and which is the required condition so this example is okay the example is fine and what about the union 
because we have to answer about the union so what about g1 union g2 so that will include all the edges so what you will basically get is something like this okay you're going to get something like this in your g1 union g2 and then i ask this question what about this vertex okay what is a cut vertex you remove a single vertex and the edge becomes and the graph becomes disconnected so if i remove this vertex the graph is obviously going to get disconnected because then i'll be left with this thing and this thing out here so what about this thing cannot have a cut vertex we have a counter example which is of a cut vertex so we have eliminated this option as well all right so okay, we are obviously left with option b which must be correct and we can also prove it so uh, the proof is simple that it must have a cycle because so what what do we what we can we what can we say about g1 and g2 so if either of them already has a cycle suppose g1 has a cycle or g2 has a cycle then obviously their union will have a cycle so that is fine then let's say they don't have a cycle okay g1 and g2 don't have a cycle but they include all the vertices so what does that mean that means is that the both should be spanning trees if they don't have cycles but they they include all the vertices in G1 union G2, then they must be spanning trees of G1 union G2. So G1 and G2 are spanning trees of G1 union G2. And you can clearly see that in this example also that it works fine. And you can see it by the argument also that why they are G1, why they are spanning trees. Okay, this is the argument that I just gave. So what happens in spanning tree? Spanning tree is this beautiful tree in which you add one more edge and you get a cycle so when you take the union g1 in itself is a spanning tree g2 in itself is a spanning tree and what what g1 needs is just one more edge and it will have a cycle what g2 needs is just one more edge and it will have a cycle so when you take their union okay when you take their union what you are giving is you are giving them extra edges Okay, you give them extra edges. G2 gives, so basically union will have edges from both of them. So it is more than spanning tree. You have more edges than a spanning tree could have, which should give you a cycle. All right.